Did not see that coming right there. I cannot wait to read this article and get an explanation for this photograph right here. So this video was already done, but I saw this story and I had to put it in at the very beginning. I have one of the craziest stories about Diddy and J-Lo in this video ever, but I literally edited this in to make sure it's in this video because this is so telling and also so stupid, okay? So Jennifer Lopez cries while endorsing the girl after she's ambushed by a Diddy question as speculation mounts. Now, for more context, I'm gonna put this story right after the first segment about the freak out video uh, that Diddy shared with his attendees. So uh, this will be the, the second segment of this video. For everybody who's been waiting on a Diddy update, we have some very, very big ones. I'm gonna itemize what we're gonna go through in this video real quick because every one of these stories could be a video on their own, all right? So this story right here, we got a model coming out talking about uh, J-Lo video being played during, uh, you know, a freak off with Diddy. This story is so bizarre. And you also have uh, Jennifer Lopez getting ambushed. Let me show you that. Ambushed with a Diddy question during an autograph signing. So I'm going to show you that video where they ask uh, J-Lo about Diddy. Now, you have to be honest. The last segment of this video is going to be the following. Okay, I'm going to show you Kendall and Kylie Jenner's super hot Halloween costumes. And then we're going to go through this right here, which is a, a picture of all these hot celebrities and what they dressed as for Halloween. That's the last segment. The only thing you have to promise that you will comment whether you stayed around to watch. You have to be honest, dude. It is absolute trash. Like, I, but in my mind, like I looked at that, I'm like, I can't put that in a video, but I'm like, actually, it would be really funny if I put them in. And then you guys have to comment, okay, yeah, I waited around. I wanted to see all the Halloween costumes just because I think that's hilarious. I would own it. I'm owning it right now. I'm looking at these articles, and if you are too. Well, first of all, just like the video and subscribe to the channel also. So let's do that. We've got this story, okay, with this, uh, a guy who just went in front of a grand jury under oath and says that he's seen, you know, tapes with eight celebrity victims, including two underage. And when you hear him describe what's in these videos... It's wild, man. This story right here about the um, Diddy Plays J-Lo video at Freak Off, Let's Get Loud. Okay, so to be clear, this is gonna this is gonna sound a little bit anticlimactic when you hear what J-Lo video was playing at his Freak Off, but when you think of, like, when you hear the story and then think about it, it's, it's an, he's a psycho, dude, okay? So listen to this. A former Playboy model claims that she was at a Diddy Freak Off with a soundtrack music from one Jennifer Lopez. Okay, so when I read that initial line, I'm like, oh man, they made it sound like he's playing like J-Lo, you know, S tapes or whatever. They're just playing her music videos. But wait, listen to this, okay? Rachel Kennedy says it all went down in Japan in 2000 when she and two friends met Diddy at a topless club and he invited him back to his hotel suite. Kennedy, who appeared on the Daily Mail's uh, The Trial of Diddy podcast, said she thought she was going to an after party, but when she arrived, the only person in the room was Diddy in a bathrobe. She says she and her friend did blow, but Diddy did not. She and one friend went to a bedroom with him. He got nude, and they gave Diddy consensual oral for 20 minutes. Okay? Now listen to this. When they walked into the hotel room, there was a music video playing on the TV of J-Lo singing. She didn't recall the song, but she said the, the video was playing on a loop, okay? This is, Diddy's, this is, she's his girlfriend at this point, okay? J-Lo is his girlfriend, and he has a J-Lo music video playing on loop while he has these girls there, okay? This was during the same period that he was dating J-Lo. The former model uh, claims he was on the phone with J-Lo at the time. After 20 minutes into the encounter, Diddy's bodyguard came into the room and became enraged. He recognized Kennedy as the woman, whatever. So like apparently the bodyguard had been with her the night before. But you have two, uh, he's, you have two options here, okay? Two options. Both of them are, I don't know, maybe equally uh, notable. So option one is that you just take the J-Lo phone call off the, off the table. Like this guy has these two girls there and the thing he chooses to put on the television is a music video on loop of the girl that he's together with and is cheating on at the time. Like, and obviously we know this guy's a voyeur, you know, like he likes to watch or he likes to be watched, whatever. But that is so crazy to me. Like you put the music, you know, like, I don't know. When, when I was young, and a dumb retard college kid who was not together with the, you know, my soulmate and dream girl, Gabrielle. Like, it's not like I never stepped out on a girl, 
But, you know, it's like you're an impulsive moron who feels guilty afterwards if you have a soul. And it's like he straight up, like he he's... He's into it to the point where he's going to put a video. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like uh, if you had like a picture up in your room of you and your girl and there's a girl like, dude, you flip the picture down. You don't, you know what I mean? Or something like he's, he turns it on. I don't know if you guys are understanding what I'm saying. Like, it's insane. But option two is that JLo knew, right? Like JLo knew that he does this, which means they had a very, you know, like different kind of relationship than I think people are, are recognizing. She might... Like J-Lo, if, if she really was on the phone and talking to him while this is happening and she knows and that's what this is about for him and he's like, yeah, yeah, he's like, they're doing it right now. You know, you watching. That is a very strong indicator that J-Lo was jumping around, like that they were, that they were you know, swapping. And just another quick note on that particular topic. I also just found out that Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore, remember when they were together, uh, she cited one of the reasons that they ended up breaking up is because Ashton said he wanted to watch her with other men, which she partook in because she said she wanted to make him happy. And she said that that ended up leading to them breaking up. So like this idea of two A-list stars, you know, oh, we would never do anything deviant and swap. Uh, yeah, you would. All right. So as promised, let's talk about J-Lo getting ambushed and crying over Diddy questions. So uh, here's the headline. Jennifer Lopez cries while endorsing Harris after she's ambushed by Diddy question as speculation mounts. It's like, oh my gosh. Well, first of all, mainstream media, that sounds like you're saying that uh, she cried over a Diddy question. Uh, I'm going to show you the video of exactly what they're talking about when she got ambushed uh, in the Diddy question later. Very telling. But that's not what she was crying about. Okay, just to be clear. Okay, she was crying. Ready? She was crying when she was talking about, where is it? The floating island of garbage joke. Okay. So that's what she was crying about. Okay. She's talking about Tony Hinchcliffe's joke when he said Puerto Rico's a floating island of garbage. She's all, <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I'm so offended by a comedian saying a dirty joke about my homeland. And you're like, yeah, but let's talk about you being involved in coercion and you having been in a relationship with a guy who shot a woman in the face in front of you and then you covered for them. She's like, what? You're all, <clears throat> I'm just saying, if we're gonna you know, compare things that we could cry about, we could talk about you being an accomplice to an attempted murder and then covering it up and then also knowing for decades that uh, dude that you were together with was exploiting people across the board, but you are gonna play boo 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 like I'm crying over a joke and there's no irony in that for you. Embarrassing. For the record, I do like JLo though. And I think she's, I think she's probably a good person. Just caught in a bad situation. Cause something tells me the reason she's crying over that joke is not that she's outraged over the joke. I think someone was like, JLo, I don't think you want anyone to see this video. Do you, you know what I mean? So, I mean, look, you got two options. She's either getting paid or she is getting blackmailed. Or both. Now, before we move on, I just want to make one point, okay? So the difference in the two sides, where people get their information is very straightforward. If people have cable, they are very likely to hate the big guy. If they do not have cable, they are very likely to be on that guy's team. Now, why is that, okay? Because cable is a manufactured world, very tailor-made to feed to people's brains, where the internet are real people having real conversations with you, people like me and many others that have much bigger platforms. Where we're like, this is really what we think. And people are like, okay. And then they go look into the things that we talk about. It's like, all right, I'm forming my own opinion here versus this plastic world. They're all, here's your worldview. And I want you to look at the people who are actually endorsing which side. Like, how come all the stars are on that side? You know what I mean? Like these people, these are not real people as we've learned over the last you know, since social media became uh, the, the norm because you got to see behind the curtain now, right? So you get to see who's actually cool, right? You know, before it was like, oh man, look at, look at this actor. Look at his amazing life. And all, you don't know anything about them. They, they pretend to be other people for a living, okay? Now with social media, you see exactly who these people are. So you have this side that is this fake world with fake people make believe doing endorsements because they're being paid or blackmailed. And then you have people over here who are like, look, this is just really what I think. 
And the people over there, they can't understand how we think what we think because you're like, yeah, well, you should maybe turn off the uh, the brainwashing mechanism that you're feeding your brain all day, every day. See how you feel. Just just turn off cable, you know, turn off cable and then start watching actual real people and see how you feel in a month. So now let's look at the J like so JLo gets asked about this. Right. And th I mean, in my opinion, this this behavior is very, very telling. All right, so watch. She's gonna be coming out. Someone's gonna pop a question to her about Diddy and just watch how she acts. Okay, guys, open that up wider, please. Thank you. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Guys, don't lean on the mat. Don't lean. She'll sign. Don't lean. She'll sign. Don't lean. Go back and look. Don't lean. Don't lean. She'll sign. Do you have any comments about P. Diddy and the allegations? immediately stops what she's doing and leaves like she's there taking pictures she's signing things you know she's taking her time so when I asked her about Diddy boom done walks away okay now that might seem like a small thing but maybe you know what I mean like obviously she wants to distance herself from Diddy anyway but like you got to figure she's getting asked questions like that all the time also Let's watch this again and just note. Yeah, so for this section, I have the audio from the desktop and my microphone on so you couldn't hear what I was saying. And it's important for the next set of jokes that what I was saying is that JLo is so hot, dude. She's in her mid-50s. Nonetheless, all I am saying as a red-blooded American man is that I know that there are tapes out there that Diddy made of her. Like, I want those tapes. I need them, son. Oh, you know, there's... Definitely videos floating around out there of J-Lo and I want them. You know what I mean? Like, here's the thing. Even if she was not participating in that stuff with Diddy, like on the level, he's got tons of tapes on her for sure. If he's a guy that likes to record, he has tapes of every single girl he's ever been together with for sure. Like, if that, you know, that he dated, that's an, that's an absolute certainty. So listen, if I was the, if I was the head of the justice department or Homeland department, of Homeland security, and someone was like, yeah, he's got tapes on everybody. I'd be like, wait, who did he date? It's like JLo hold up, dude. So if we raid this guy, we're going to get a video of JLo getting pounded from the back. It's like, geez, I mean, I know the guy's been doing us lots of favors and everything, but I think I need that tape. All right. Here's your, here's your warrant. Go get it. Make sure you bring that hard drive straight to me. Just kidding. <laughs> the, I, like, I, I don't want to derail this whole thing, but I really want you guys to think about something, okay? Just think about this, especially the men that are watching, which is probably 90% of these, you know, video viewers, okay? Put yourself in the position of an A-list male celebrity, whether you're a rapper or you're, you know, a basketball, you know, NBA star, right? Pretend that, you, you know, you're five years ago, when Diddy is top of the world, most respected guy ever, he's, you know, superpower in the industry, getting invited to a Diddy party is like a huge deal. And you get there and everybody who's anybody is there. And, you know, it's your first one and you're looking around, you're like, man, people are just like getting after it at this place, huh? You know, they're just out in the open doing it all created intentionally by Diddy. Okay. Now think about how it feels to be like at a strip club as an example. Okay. You're young, you're in your 20s, whatever, or 30s, it doesn't even matter. And you're at a strip club and you got some smoke that's up there dancing on the pole. Like, and you're like, God damn. I mean, why do people go to strip clubs? And they're like, man, I wish I could pound that girl out. Okay. It's just like, like dudes are thinking about sex all the time anyway. You know what I mean? And then you put them in that environment. It's like, come on, take it. It's right there, dude. Just take it. It's right there. Like what I'm telling you is, I can't even fathom how many dudes he has on tape. And I'm not saying being with him, but on tape with girls. And you're talking about dudes who have families. Okay. You have any idea what a person would do to protect their home life? Okay. Especially a huge celebrity like this. Like people think people who don't like are not in a stable, solid relationship think Oh, well, A-list celebrity. I mean, look, if she finds out, she finds out. And then, you know, but da, da, da. no, if you have a rock solid girl and you have kids and you're famous, they are the, they're the realest thing that you have in your life that they, they were with you before, you know, like LeBron James is an example. I'm not saying he's in any taste. So like he's been together with his high, it's his high school sweetheart. 
you have any idea what people would do to to protect that situation? If they're like, hey man, look, look at what we got. We need you to go ahead and uh, endorse the girl over there. It's like, okay, we need you to say that guy's racist. Say he's terrible and racist. Dude, they'll do anything. Like that level of, of leverage is enormous, okay? Like you don't need to have them on tape with a kid or anything. You just need them on tape, you know? If they're married, dude, they're gonna do anything to protect that. All right, so let's look at the article that accompanies this photograph that I'm sure I will have teased at the beginning. Matt Wallace hints at a massive trove of Diddy recordings, some featuring Jennifer Lopez. Okay, now look at this. Now this right here, is this doctored? Is this doctored? Because in this, you got her, that's J-Lo. Uh, you can see that there's, you know, the girls, she's wearing something on the bottom, but it looks like nothing on top. And then you got some crackheaded ass looking Diddy right here and Jay-Z right here with his shirt off. Now, is this a real, is this real? Is this a real still? Because straight up, if there, I mean, if there's a video of J-Lo getting trained by Diddy, Jay-Z and whoever this, you know, this guy faces. I, I can't even imagine how much you could sell that for. <laughs> you know, what I, I, I can't even imagine. Do you have any idea what J-Lo would do to keep that video from not going public or Jay-Z? Same thing. Beyonce's wife been together with them forever. Now, if I'm, you know, if I'm being honest and I look at this like this, I honestly, I can't. I mean, it looks probably photoshopped, I think. But I don't, I can't tell, dude. Because see, like right here, like look below Diddy's neck. You see that line right there? So you see that line right there? That, I mean, that that could be doctored. I don't know. And then J-Lo. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think this is an authentic picture? I, I, I can't tell. Um, I mean, the only reason I'm saying it probably is doctored is just how massive a deal it would be if this was real. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, so bottom line is, uh, so Matt Wallace allegedly threatening to release videos of Combs freak off parties, including in involving footage of Jennifer Lopez. Uh, Wallace added fuel to the fire by hinting he has access to disturbing tapes that could implicate yada, yada, yada. Um, so he is saying a former exotic dancer revealed that these parties involve guests being compelled to indulge in substance fields acts. Yeah. You know, we did a video about that. Um, I'm just really curious, like, where is this guy saying that he got the tapes from? You know what I mean? And then there's this guy also who says he has, uh, he has tapes and then he, and he says he has the real Kim Porter memoir, but this is just, I mean, there's, there's nothing verified in here. So we'll just leave it at that. All right. Game time, dude. It's time for some Halloween costumes. Okay. Check this out. So this is, uh, this is what, uh, the two of Kylie and, uh, Kendall did for, uh, for Halloween, but for, for the record, I'm not going to play the music because it'll get copywritten, but they're doing this Lizzie McGuire thing. At least they're like not hot though, you know, like they're just, they're just not hot. That's the main problem with these two sisters. This is like, yeah, they're just not hot, you know, just not really, uh, not really hot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I actually didn't even know, like, even if I put the music on, this is, uh, Lizzie McGuire is uh, after my time. So I don't really know what they're referencing, but okay. So check this out. So we're going to go through this little gallery right here the supposed must-see Halloween costumes from 2024. And that is because it's Friday and I want to make the video longer and we'll just see, you know. Oh my God. Man, Olivia Dunn is so ugly, dude. She's just not, she's also just not hot, dude. You know, she's just not hot. That's the thing. That's the main problem. Olivia Dunn is the one on the top right. Very talented gymnast. Uh, that is Irina Shayek. Tomb Raider. Dude, they should cast her in the next movie. Uh, bet you. Ashley Tisdale. Okay. 
Uh, Kaylee, okay. Bethany Frankel. I am Wonder Woman. Look at my body. Okay. That's Ciara. I don't know what she's dressing as. That Bella Deed is Poison Ivy. Cool, cool. Paris Hilton is Cher from Clueless, obviously. Okay, that's weird. Okay, that's... Oh, that's Brittany and Patrick Mahomes. What did they do? That's cute. We were robbers. My whole, our whole family was robbers last night. Um, good Lord. Kylie Jenner played Demi Moore in striptease. <sighs> Ugh. My goodness. I def like, there's just nothing hot about her. Like, that's the main problem. She's just not hot. This, Gwen Stefani, she always did it for me, but then I found out she's like super tall, which was a problem, you know. Kendall Jenner. This is Jason Derulo and Jenner. Dude, she's beautiful, man. I don't think I'd ever seen his girl before. Dude, there's something about a light-skinned black girl with green eyes that is just like, they're mesmerizingly hot. She's beautiful. It's not even hot. They're beautiful. Um, Charlie D'Amelio. Oh, TikTok star. Is, she's Black Swan. That's actually kind of clever. Oh, uh, Ed Sheeran is a homosexual monkey. That's cute. Olivia Dunn is very, very talented, beautiful, and... Um, engaged to probably the biggest, you know, future, future best pick pitcher in the major league baseball leagues. What? Yeah. Everybody thinks that she's married to some guy or like that she's engaged to some like rand. Well, people who don't follow baseball, they're like, Oh, she's engaged. And he just like some, like uh, some college player from LSU. It's like, yeah, a college player that like throws 103 miles an hour and is like the best rookie pitcher fucking ever. You know, like he already is making, I think his signing bonus was $9 million in a rookie contract. He is going to, yeah, he's not a nobody. He's a, he has a, he is going to make much more money than her in his career. So she married up. Good for her. Um, Oops. Who's that? That is Maluma. No idea who that is. Jennifer Garner would do that. But you would wear that, Jennifer Garner. That's why Ben Affleck was like, nah, I'm good. You know? Sabrina Carpenter, don't know who that is. Oh, Kelly Ripa. I like Kelly Ripa, dude. Um, don't know who those. Wait, wait, wait. Was that Alec Baldwin? It was. <laughs> Are those all his kids? No way. How is that even possible? Um, Iris Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, dude, I wonder what um what's 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 her name? Um Okay, that's a hot Chucky outfit. I don't know who Emily Sears is. What's the girl's name? Um, Emily Ratajowski. Now, the reason I paused to go to Emily Ratajowski is because she is probably the most openly skeezer big celebrity that there is. Who's like, not like an OnlyFans girl, but is like buck naked all the time. It is such a waste. You have, she could make so much money if she went on OnlyFans and she's already nude in everything. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. The reason that I pay attention to her besides the obvious, is because she is like the queen of, oh my God, I don't, you, I am not just some body for you to oogle over, man. And you're like, huh? She's like, yeah, keep your eyes off me. I'm a feminist. You're like, you literally could not do more to try to get that exact type of energy from people if you tried. Anyway, but for Halloween, for Halloween, she, uh, she went with J-Lo. Check it out, dude. This is, she's J-Lo. See? She's J-Lo. Now, question. What do you take? You take her or J-Lo? Hmm, her or J-Lo? J-Lo's way cooler. And then whatever this is, I don't really know what she's dressed as there. But uh, yeah, I mean, Emily Ratajowski again is, see what I'm saying? Okay. That's, that's pinned. That is a pinned thing. It's like, yeah, I want this, uh, to be the number one thing that you see uh, me just in a bikini, you know, running around or like stuff like this. So here's me nude, but you know, guys, don't look at me like that. Guys, don't look at me like this. Disgusting. Okay. I am a woman and I am in control of my own body. You can't just like, look at me like I'm an object. That is not what I want from you. Ew. Okay. Ew, shut up, you know? Yeah, definitely don't look at me like that. 
<laughs> so ridiculous, dude. So ridiculous. Okay, Emily Ratajowski. Now, continuing on, let's check out the next. All right, so this is uh, Jay Wow. She's cool, dude. I always like Jay Wow. Lele Pons, no idea who that is. Cool, uh, cool costume. Uh, Chelsea. Oh my God, Chelsea Handler. She's all, I'm single and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I am so happy in my life. I'm so happy I don't have children. Um, yeah, because I can do whatever I want. And uh, my life is very fulfilled. Very fulfilled. Okay. Mark Hamill. He's all, I hate Donald Trump. I hate him. I hate him, man. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, that was Macaulay Culkin. He is dressed as the... Okay, quarterback or something. Stella Hudgens, cool. Serena Page, Lake, and okay. I don't even know what they're dressed as. Okay, Rebecca Black. I don't even know who these people are, man. Paige Taylor, no idea who you are. Andy Murray. Oh, I think he's a uh, he's a tennis player. Claire Holt, no idea. Cool, uh, cool fit though. Terrence J and a hot bear, I guess. Valerie, who, dude, who are these people, man? Literally, who are these people? I literally have no idea who any of these people are. Okay, Louis Alou. She's hot. Looking cool. Speaking of hot, where is my wife? We're supposed to film in one minute. Let's call her, you guys. Let's call my wife. I think I'm going to do this video with her today, too. Looking at, like... Halloween costumes and such. Hello. Tiny. Hi. Well, I'm just up here evaluating all the uh, A-list celebrity chicks Halloween costumes. Who looks hot? Who does not? And I think we should do our video on that as well. Okay. You should take pic. Wow. We should have. We should have gotten you a like one sexy Halloween you know, costume that just, I don't know, so I could be all, look how much better Gabrielle is than these skanks. No, that's not really my brand. Thank you, though. <laughs> Ooh, Kim Kardashian. Now that is a badass costume. She always has a She costume. found a way to be buck naked and it not be, like, incredibly, like, skanky. She like This is actually a crazy outfit, dude. She wins. This is the this is the Halloween costume of the year for sure. Wow. What was it? You just have to see it. It's hard to explain. She's like she turned herself into like a dinosaur. That's but she's naked. It's like it's really wild. If this is real and not made by AI, this almost looks like it's AI actually. Um, I am just finishing my makeup real fast. All right, then. Well then, I'll see you in a few. Love you, bye. She has no idea I was going to put that in the video. She's sleepy. All right, that's probably enough. Love you guys, bye.